Mr. President, one week ago, our most sophisticated intelligence ship, the USS Clarence E. Walsh, began a routine patrol in the Sea of Japan. At 8.15 this morning, a North Korean Super Silkworm missile hit and sank the USS Clarence E. Walsh. Then there were no survivors, sir. What? That's impossible! Oh my oh. god! Until we find out exactly what happened, we recommend that you deploy the ghosts. Ghost, this is command. The South Korean White Skulls are moving into position now. Secure the top of the hill ahead while they get into position. This is like my kind of fire. Sir, White Skull Brigade. Enemy contact. Ghost, this is command. Good work, Mitchell, and not a minute too soon. Leave some heavy firepower to secure that hill, then make contact with the Skull's commander, Lieutenant Yi. He knows the terrain and he's got a good ambush plan, so he'll be taking point for the duration of this battle.
find the room to bury them all. Captain. Ghost, this is command. Good work. Now get some rest while you can, boys. This mess is just getting started. That was good work yesterday, ambushing that enemy column. You need to do just as good a job against this forward air base today. Until opening of hostilities, we thought this place was an abandoned Cold War relic, but obviously that's not the case. The enemy's been repairing it under our noses for weeks, and it's fully operational. Having an air base this close to the DMZ allows the enemy to keep more planes in the air than we can. That has to stop today. On the other hand, this airfield could be of big help to us in the days ahead. So bombing it or hitting it with artillery is out of the question. We need it intact. And that's why we're counting on you for a clean and fast takeover. You're going in at 0720, just after they launch their first combat sorties of the day. You can begin your assault on the base when South Korean bombers take out their control tower. Eliminate all personnel on site, but leave the equipment and the MiGs intact. Our South Korean friends think they can put the... That was good work yesterday, ambushing that enemy column. You need to... This is command. The South Koreans will commence airstrikes in a moment to cover our advance. Keep pace with the bombing runs or you might end up in the next target zone.
Forces Command. Friendly jets inbound for a second run. Stay clear of the runway. Good work securing that fire base. 
Be advised, another wave of jets is inbound. This is command. Great job securing the airfield. The South Korean pilots have aborted their sortie and appreciate the chance to go back to bed. An elite enemy unit designated the 4th Armored Brigade has been responsible for some of the most devastating attacks against our lives. These men are led by one of the youngest and brightest stars of the NKA, Major General Ri Namsoon. General Ri's trained his unit and he drives his men hard. Taking him out of the chain of command would throw the 4th Armored into confusion. We have information that Ri's taking a detour this afternoon to inspect the defenses in his hometown you'll get a chance to put them to the test. We're sending you alone on this one, Mitchell. You'll be using the Lone Wolf Gear. Your mission is to take out the command structure for the 4th Armored Brigade. One word of warning, we might be taking away from the bulk of his troops, but he's not going to be on guard. Be prepared for stiff resistance. An elite enemy... Mitchell, this is command. Your target is right where our intel sources predicted he would be.
Mitchell, this is Central Command. Good work. That whole enemy brigade won't go back into action until it's been completely reorganized. Thanks to your efforts, Captain Mitchell, the enemy's 4th Armored Brigade has been drastically reduced in effectiveness. They've pulled it out of action until Pyongyang can find a suitable replacement for Major General Ri. This time, we're sending you and the Ghost to decapitate an entire division, the North Korean 3rd Mechanized. According to intel reports, that unit's headquarters detachment is relocating to a more forward location this afternoon, while the weather keeps the South Korean aircraft grounded. That means we can hit them hard before they have time to know what's happening. The enemy will most likely spread their communications equipment and operators out across the entire convoy. Do not let any transport vehicles get away. Expect them to split the convoy into multiple segments, so move quickly and destroy them in detail. Satellite intel indicates they have at least two heavy tanks playing escort, which means you'll be facing a lot of resistance. You'll be taking out an entire headquarters company, so expect them to be well-armed and alert. One thing that'll help you is the weather. In these conditions, you ghosts can make the enemy think they're being attacked by a much larger force. It never hurts to mix a little panic in with the maid. Good luck and good hunting. Ghost, this is command. Secure the roadside and set up your ambush pattern. Time's running out.
Intel just confirmed that the convoy is escorted by tanks. We know you've made a contingency plan for this, so now's the time to implement it. Intel just confirmed that the convoy is escorted by tanks. We know you've made a contingency plan for this, so now's the time to implement it. Side flanks are secure, sir. Ambush elements are all in place. We are definitely good to go.
Ghost, this is Command, with some more good news. You just wiped out the entire headquarters and communications element of the enemy 4th Brigade. This will make a huge difference in the campaign. Missile gun gunge, Shinjungan Pandane, Irojia, and Gabal Kesiman, Taranja and Gundur, and Ibon Kungo, Chija, and the Kesimida. And Ibon Nilo, Urid, Han Bandor, Tong Elsi Kilsoita. Hoxan Motiman, Chasan Chicken, Haxian, Kunsabun General Kirkusio. Tatan Kumpasi, Tongo Gesha, Sodulo. We're going to be sending you deeper into North Korean territory this time. Your objective is to destroy their main strategic oil refinery. We have good intel that the enemy only has a few days worth of fuel stockpile. Once that runs out, they won't be able to keep up the pressure, if you can cut off the enemy's petroleum at the source. Your first target is this railroad marshalling yard. Intel shows that this refinery is a natural choke point for their entire supply system. In other words, take out the automated systems that control switching and routing for this train yard and you'll paralyze half of the country's rail system. The iron and rolling stock will still be intact, but North Korean rail operations will be frozen. Next, break into the refinery and take it out. This fuel tank is particularly vulnerable, and blowing it up will most likely trigger a series of explosions that will level the entire complex within minutes. A well-placed shot with an RPG or some heavy caliber weaponry, for instance, the stationary machine gun set up inside the compound, should heat things up nicely. Once you take out this refinery, it won't be long before the enemy's frontline units start to really feel the pinch. We're going to be sending you deep Ghost, this is Command. Your first objective is the automated switching system. Destroy it and you'll disrupt some of the enemy's most vital supply lines. Enemy contact. The automated switching system should be...
on that system, Captain. So we'll make sure nobody breaks your concentration. Ghost, this is command. That should do it. You just snarled up the whole North Korean railroad network. Now go destroy the refinery tower and we should be done here. Good work, sir.
The refinery tower should be just ahead. your way. What you're looking at is the once notorious Tiger's Cage, a prison compound where the former North Korean dictator used to imprison political opponents. It's been deserted for 20 years, until the day after the missile attack on the USS Clarence E. Walsh. That's when satellite recon spotted trucks entering the gate. We thought they were refurbishing it for South Korean POWs, but as you can see in the latest photos, there aren't any. However, we have confirmed reports now that there is one man and one man only being held there. We don't know his identity, but whoever he is, he must be extremely important. Your mission is to break into that compound, locate this prisoner, and bring him back alive so CIA experts can debrief. He'll probably come willingly. He can't feel very friendly toward whoever threw him in jail. But if he doesn't, just knock him out and drag him to the chopper anyway. This facility has no obvious strategic value, so security will probably be slack when you go in. Once the guards realize their prisoner is being stolen by the Yankees, however, they're bound to give you a tough fight. As with all jails, this one will be eaten. What you're looking at is the once- Ghost, this is command. Find a way to break into that prison compound. Everybody's got a bulldozer in this box. I hope we hit the ride with the most enemy vehicle that comes by. Like this one? It's the best shot we're likely to get.
Americans, you have come to rescue me. Ghost, this is command. Intel confirms you've got the right man. Americans, you have come to rescue me. Ghost, this is command. Intel confirms you've got the right man. So protect him closely on your way to the extraction point. Those guards will face a firing squad if he breaks out. So you'll be walking into a hornet's nest. Ghost, this is command. If I didn't know better, I'd say your people were experienced at this sort of thing. We'll debrief your prisoner ASAP. I'm sure he has useful intel for us.
maintenance work. I got a hunch it's more than that. Huh. Remember, we're not supposed to engage. We're not engaging, just snooping. That's not a maintenance crew. That's a convoy of combat engineers. They're packing that down with crates. No, they're packing it with crates of explosives. Why would they blow up their own dam? We've been spotted. Reposition and maintain contact. Damn, that sound battery tagged us. Thank you, Ace Max is down. Too late, Skipper. Mayday, Mayday, burn down. At court. As of this morning, you are not the only U.S. troops in North Korean territory. Although the Pentagon is still withholding offensive air power above the border, we've been running some stealth reconnaissance missions using both unmanned drones and specially equipped helicopters. Earlier today, an OH-58D Kiowa warrior was knocked down by enemy fire just as it was transmitting video of enemy presence around this reservoir. The co-pilot was killed in the crash, but the pilot, Captain Jeff Thomas, is still alive. That's the good news. The bad news is that he's most likely fallen into enemy hands. Your primary objective is to rescue Captain Thomas. He's got vital information for us, but most importantly, he's an American soldier caught behind enemy lines. While you're in the area, we also want you to plant a demo charge on the downed chopper to make sure the enemy can't recover any technology and reverse engineer it. It's broad daylight, so we have to minimize the risk to your chopper on extraction. Fortunately, our old friends, the White Skulls, will be conducting some raids behind enemy lines as well. And they'll detach some of their men to set up a temporary base one mile from the crash site. Escort Captain Thomas into their lines, and we'll send a medevac to extract them. As of this morning, you are not the only U.S. troops in North Korean territory. Although the Pentagon is still withholding offensive air power above the border, we've been running some stealth reconnaissance missions using both unmanned drones and special... Ghost, this is command. Locate the crashed helicopter and plant a charge on it. You can locate the pilot afterwards. Enemy contact. Be careful.
I'm in position. Captain, the shot down Kiowa is just ahead. Kiowa's in front of us. One shot up Kiowa chopper straight ahead, Skipper. Kiowa's in front of us. Fire in the hole. One shot up, down the top is straight ahead. Stay yeah. ahead. Chopper is history. However, the pilot is being detained in a camp up ahead.
Americans? Huh? Good job locating Captain Thomas. You'll have to go on foot to reach the abandoned village. village with Captain Thomas. We'll set up a rear guard position here. We'll join you in a half an hour. Good job extracting the pilot, Captain Mitchell. But the North Koreans are still hot on your tail. They're furious that you snatched the pilot from under their very guns. As a result, they've brought up reinforcements and tracked you to the deserted village where you will rendezvous with the South Korean White Skulls. North Korean anti-aircraft batteries have been brought to full bear ever since the OH-58D went down earlier today. So sending an extraction chopper your way is taking longer than expected. Hold off the enemy attack until the chopper reaches your location. Protect the life of Captain Thomas at all costs, until such time as the extraction chopper safely lands. The White Skulls will lay down some extra firepower to help you, but don't worry, there will be plenty of targets to keep around. Good job extracting the pilot, Captain Thomas. Mitchell, this is command. We're encountering unexpectedly heavy anti-aircraft fire and have been forced to take a longer route. Our ETA for extraction is 10 minutes. Hold on and protect Captain Thomas's life at all costs. Here they come. If we don't start pulling back, we'll be cut off.
Mitchell, this is Command. Your extraction chopper is here. Glad you were able to hold out. Get on board and bring Captain Thomas with you. Fantastic work saving Captain Thomas soldiers. Don't relax yet though. Things are about to go from bad to worse. That mysterious VIP prisoner you sprung out of the tiger's cage two days ago? It turns out he's a major named Sung. He was a high-ranking technical advisor to North Korea's nuclear program until he had a falling out with Major General Pike. Pike threw him in the tiger's cage to keep him from defecting, and now we know why. His story corroborates a lot of intel we received from Captain Thomas, and the picture it paints isn't pretty. Major General Pike realizes that our defensive posture in the current conflict might lead to a relatively bloodless detente. That's not what he wants, so he has decided to make sure war with the U.S. reaches a point of no return. To that effect, he plans to blow up North Korea's largest dam. If he succeeds, he will drown tens of thousands of our troops under two billion tons of water, Throw in the civilian casualties and the other effects of that kind of flood, and you can see how serious this threat is. Clear Pike's troops off that dam so our engineers can disarm his demolition charges. We have to prevent the Major General from turning this res fantastic work saving. Ghost, this is command. Enemy engineers have packed this dam with explosives. Seize control of the top so our own engineers can defuse the charges. If that structure blows, General Pike will drown our men under billions of tons of water.
this is command. Once you reach the top, avoid using grenades and RPGs at all costs. If one of these crates explodes, there won't be enough left of you to bury in a coffee cup. control of the top. Throw them back at all costs. Ghost, this is command. You've done more than win a battle. You've saved the lives of thousands of Allied soldiers. We're moving friendly engineers up as fast as possible so they can deactivate the demolition charge. As soon as they arrive, turn over the security job to their infantry escort and go get some rest. Well done.
It's now confirmed. The missile attack was not, repeat, not an intentional provocation by North Korea. Suspicion now centers on a fanatical right-wing group of international terrorists. Both sides today pledge goodwill, although many thorny issues remain to be resolved between two mutually suspicious nations. Both the president and the North Korean premier called for Looks like we pulled it off again. Time to go back home, guys and gals. He's going nuclear? Afraid so, sir. We debriefed some captured officers and other intel sources confirm it. General Pike has reactivated older nuclear weapons, and he may have acquired new ones. Pike, you lunatic. We're at peace with North Korea. Can his own government control him? He's a loose cannon. More like a mad dog. He must be stopped. When we take decisive action, or will face nuclear war. Tell Pyongyang what's up, but don't wait for their permission. Can you put the ghosts in country within 24 hours? They're packed and ready, sir. It's no exaggeration to say that as of this morning, a single madman has pushed the world to the brink of a nuclear holocaust. Our old nemesis, General Pike, has been suspiciously quiet ever since he was publicly disgraced and forced to apologize to the North Korean people on state-run media last July. It was part of the armistice agreement, and Pike didn't like it one bit. Now it looks like he's been using that time to plan a coup. If Pike pulls it off, it will give him complete control over every nuclear weapon in North Korea's inventory. According to Major Sung, that nuclear arsenal is larger and much more dangerous than we suspected. We need to send somebody in fast before the situation worsens, and that means the ghost. If you can cripple Pike's rapid mobilization of nuclear assets, a major international crisis can be averted. Sources in Pyongyang indicate that Pike recently took control of a state-of-the-art command post, one that is designed to control and coordinate large-scale missile strikes. If we take out Pike's ability to carry out that sort of launch, it will buy us time to remove his other nuclear assets and give the diplomats some breathing space. It's no exaggeration to say that as of this morning, a single missile. Ghost, this is command. You'll have to neutralize an enemy encampment before you advance to the radar station. Fortunately, it's not very far from your present position. Enemy contact.
유로장이다! 거기다! Sir, let's blow it up!
close this is command. You've accomplished all your objectives, so you'd better get out while the getting's good. Well, Mitchell, it seems like General Pike's strategy for provoking nuclear war is even more complex than we thought. It turns out that Pike has access to a lot more nuclear weapons than we ever guessed. Major Sung has revealed to his CIA handlers the true nature of his work for Major General Pike's faction, equipping Silkworm and Super Silkworm anti-shipping missiles with a longer range and nuclear payload delivery capabilities. If the North Koreans pull this off, Pike can add another hundred or so nuclear missiles to his arsenal overnight. A ship out of Liberia, the Clever Boy, docked at a North Korean military port on the Sea of Japan yesterday. Our intel is confident it is carrying the equipment needed to finalize the upgrade to Pike's missile group and transform obsolete anti-ship missiles into nuclear city buses. Since officially everything is A-OK, -okay, we can't just take the ship out, not without causing diplomatic problems. That's where you come in. Going solo and under the cover of night, take out all opposition around the base and make your way to the Claraboya. Since Pike is not too popular at Pyongyang anymore, we can carry out a single airstrike without causing too much of an incident. It's just one, though, so we have to make it count. Laser target the ship, well Mitchell. Mitchell, this is command. Locate the cargo ship, Clara Boya, and paint it with a laser targeting beacon. There's a flight of South Korean jets on standby. And their bombs will ride the beam right in.
Kinder! Mitchell, this is command. That airstrike is standing by. The pilots are waiting for you to confirm laser targeting. Repeat, confirm laser targeting. We're starting to obtain more and better information from dissonant North Koreans, civilian and military alike. Ordinary people who are appalled at what Pike's trying to do. They don't want him to succeed any more than we do. This, ladies and gentlemen, is a piece of intel that was recently turned over to us by one of those dissidents. What you are looking at is the only known working prototype of the infamous Soviet SS-39, codenamed Medusa. Look at the weapon specs, people. It's orbital. It can stay in space for a week and strike any location on the planet. It has six transport warheads, which can be independently targeted. Each one of those contains 38 programmable baby nukes, each one packing a miniaturized warhead 4.6 times more powerful than Hiroshima. Somehow, Pike's agents tracked down some of the scientists who worked on that prototype and acquired his own. Naturally, your job is to take it out. You'll need to infiltrate the installation and plant explosives on the launch pad to make sure this bird never flies. This monster is Pikes, so you can expect it to be well guarded by his most loyal men. It's not going to be an easy mission. We're starting to obtain more and better. Ghost, this is command. We must stop Pike from launching that missile. If you take out the electrical substation first, they'll have to abort the countdown and jury-rig a new launch device. All of which should distract them while you secure the control room.
station is offline, so that buys you a little extra time. Head for the launch control room and secure it so Pike's technicians can't restart the countdown. This is one bird that isn't leaving the nest today.
Ghost, this is Command. I think we'll all sleep a little easier tonight knowing that monster never left the ground. If people really knew what a close call that was, and who did the dirty work of stopping it, well, someday they will. Thanks to your operational successes in the last weeks, Major General Pike seems to be running out of weapons. If the radio broadcasts we've monitored are any indication, the General's losing his grip too. Now's the time to end his nuclear program once and for all. Pike is out of missiles capable of carrying a nuclear payload, but we still have its uranium stockpiles to worry about. Intel has it that Pike is now moving these to a secure location by train stockpiling them for future use, unless we stop them in route. The boys upstairs have found the perfect spot for an ambush along the convoy route. It's a small railroad bridge in an isolated area, and it's lightly defended. Your first objective is to quickly eliminate the small enemy outpost to one side of the bridge, then move to the base of the bridge and plant the explosive. Make your way to the other side of the bridge and detonate it before the train arrives. That will stop the transfer dead in its tracks. Once the train is immobilized and you have taken out the soldiers on board, secure the outpost on the other side of the bridge. That will allow our men to move in and secure the ship. And be extremely careful not to damage thanks to your operation. Mitchell, this is command. That uranium convoy is still pretty far from your position, so take out the southern enemy encampment first. That will protect you from a rear guard attack. Mitchell, this is command. You made quick work out of that enemy position. Well done. Now it's time to proceed with the next step.
Go out there and drop the middle out of that bridge before the train arrives.
Genesis Command. We are sending a nuclear hazmat team to secure and decontaminate that cargo. Meanwhile, you need to attack and gain control of the enemy's northern control. Cut off all communications so they can't dispatch reinforcements. was a tough, complex mission, and you handled it as well as we could have hoped for. Head back to base now and enjoy some R&R. &R. Thanks to your successful efforts over the past few days, the threat of a nuclear exchange has been effectively ended. All that's left is tying up one big loose end. Right now, Pike is on the run. He's been branded a renegade by his fellow generals on the ruling committee and been stripped of rank and authority. But he's been down before and come back, and he's still got a hardcore loyal followers. This time, we need to make sure he doesn't get that chance. Pike has gone into hiding with his die-hard followers, but we think we know where he is. Up in the far north, into this fortress-like mountain is here. It was originally designed to function as a remote command post for the North Korean premier if Pyongyang were destroyed. But now it's Pike's last hiding place. You'll be flown in under the cover of a blizzard, so the element of surprise will be on your side. Infiltrate the base and eliminate any resistance. Keep your eyes peeled. Pike has nothing left to lose, and we don't know the contents of that bunker. He still might have a nasty surprise in store before he's through. With this, thanks to your successful efforts.
Ghost, this is command. Infiltrate Pike's base and neutralize him, along with anybody still crazy enough to believe in him. It's time to finish this business once and for all. This is command. We suspected that Pike might have one final ace up his sleeve, but it's even uglier and more dangerous than he has been. It's got enough range to hit the bomb and packs enough megatons to devastate anything it hits. It's imperative that you capture Pike and force him to abort the launch. This is command. We suspected that Pike might have one final ace up his sleeve, but it's even uglier and more dangerous than we estimated. 
It's got enough grams to hit anything from Tokyo to Bombay, and packs enough megatons to devastate anything it hits. It's imperative that you capture Pike and... Ghost, this is command. We suspected that Pike might have one final ace up his sleeve, but it's even uglier and more dangerous than we estimated. It's got enough range to hit anything from Tokyo to Bombay, and packs enough megatons to devastate anything it hits. It's imperative that you capture Pike and force him to abort the launch. This is command. We are now studying every contingency plan. We will get back to you with orders as soon as humanly possible. Ghost, this is command. The orders are simple but risky. We need one ordinary demolition charge positioned on the hull near the starboard exhaust vent, and the entire missile should blow itself up before it gets five feet off the ground. That's it. Fight your way onto the launch pad and attach the charge, and then get out of there as fast as you can. We've already dispatched the chopper to bring you home.
That's it. Fight your way onto the launch pad and attach the charge and then get out of there as fast as you can. We've already dispatched the chopper to bring you home. Ghost, this is command. Hold tight. The extraction chopper is on its way. Never learn.백장군은 관료들을 압박하여 통일의 성과를 얻을 수 있는 기회가 있었어 그가 예행한 댐 파괴 공작의 실패는 악영향을 불러일으켰지 그러나 그놈의 장백한 모습은 그의 큰 실수와 비교해 어울리는 군 백장군은 죽었으니까 미국이 우리의 핵사업을 송두리째 박살낼 때 대포동 미사일과 함께 백장군은 터져버렸지 정장군 당신의 여완견 백장군은 생각했던 것보다 형편 없었지 그래 백장군은 실패했네 그러나 반드시 또 다른 기회가 찾아올 것이오 인민 여러분 반드시 기회는 우리에게 찾아올 것이오 
Oh, <laughs>